Hello art friends, it's Christine from Christine Art and today we're diving into the wonderful world of fall decor, pumpkin time with my family and painting in the studio. First, we're diving into a kaleidoscope of colors at the hardware store, hand-picking mums and potted flowers to infuse our porch with autumn's warmth. These blooms are like bursts of happiness, ready to transform our space into a cozy fall heaven. Okay, where are we going? We're going to take pumpkins from Maru. Now picture this, a scenic drive to a charming pumpkin farm, where every pumpkin holds a promise of adventure. Our literal explorers are on a quest for the perfect pumpkins, and the joy in their hearts is contagious. The kiddos have found their pumpkin pals, and each one unique, just like them. Watch as we weave our creativity into a mesmerizing tapestry of fall, shaping a porch that welcomes the season with open arms. And there you have it. A front porch that feels like a portal to fall magic. Okay, uh, the decoration part is finished. Uh, we both have red rose, red noses <laughs> because it's quite cold outside. And I will also choose something from front side porch uh, decorations to paint in my sketchbook. And what could that be? I really like these pink berries. They look like cranberries. They are uh, decorative, so I'm not sure that they are eatable. I also like this cabbage, this cabbage. Some leaves of the cabbage are already eaten by snails. They are a lot during autumn time, but I really like these colors. They're so beautiful. So I think I will take one of these leaves and yeah, and cranberries. Maybe together they will make a nice composition because here we have pinks and here we have also pinks and violets. So maybe put them together. Let's see. Back in my studio, tea, candle, and creativity can begin.
line drawing is transferred to original paper, which I'm using from my sketchbook 300 GSM watercolor hot pressed paper. After transferring line drawing, I'm going over with 0.3 mechanical pencil to make lines super small and fine and also I'm not pushing too hard so I can erase easily. Starting the painting process with round synthetic brush applying water to first enlarged cranberry that we have in the front side in the in the middle. Full tutorial of this cranberry painting is available on my Patreon in real time from the beginning till finishing touches. By subscribing to Patreon you will get access to more than 150 tutorials in real time and with explanation. Access for 30 days, cancel anytime. Using permanent rose and senal year red. You can use cadmium red with some pink pigment. These cranberries are decorative, they're not eatable and they are pink, but in the shadow they're warmer, so there may be more red, a little bit yellow, the darkest shadow are more darker violets, you can use pearl and maroon or pearl and violet, just be really careful with pearl and violet, it can go too dark too fast. For this composition, I will add gouache paints. Also need some extra light in the studio. This is fall and it is getting dark pretty quickly. Starting with background. Using flat synthetic brush and gouache paints I took blue, pink and yellow mixed together until I get a really dark grey gouache mix. Added white gouache paint and I have this warm grey mix. I want to say watercolor mix but this is a gouache mix and um, you can use these three pigments yellow blue and pink and adjust maybe you want it to be more to the green side or to the violet side cooler warmer you can experiment you can even try maybe a black background with using charcoals or graphite pencils try this is your tutorial to experiment <laughs> i'm allowing you we are not sticking to uh, botanical painting rules we are just playing around with pigments, mediums, adding final touches to this composition to this painting. Be careful with outer edges, we still want to stick to realistic art, adding some contrast. Now we have all composition and we can compare and add some final touches.
Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary fall adventure. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this enchanting journey with your friends.